and the pubes on that scientist guy, I think that was actually natural. The guy just had his shirt off and he just looked like he had matted pubes just stuck all over him. And I had to say though, it was, I had to hand it to the director. Like that made it, it made it horrific. You know, it made it, a naked guy coming at you is one thing, but a naked guy like covered in pubes and you're not even sure if they're his coming at you like that's that's scary i can't trust that yeah i can't trust that at all and they the brilliant thing is like i said i don't think they needed special effects for it but they did use a lot of special effects too it says here they successfully discovered a way to access a parallel universe of pleasure by tapping into the brain's pineal gland uh four and a half million dollar budget and flopped at the box office with with a 1.2 uh, uh, I was listening to the I was listening to the commentary and, and uh, they were talking about what they were smearing on each other. It was this it was maltodextrin uh, that's slime. It was uh, like a food thickener. And uh, I guess the sensors were bothered more by the slime than they were by blood. So because it was so disgusting, I don't know, but that's what they were saying. Shot in Rome. Huh. So it's uh wait, did you say shot in Rome? In Rome. Wow. The only the sound stage okay. that the government had taken away from uh De Laurentiis because he didn't pay for it or something. They gutted it, they didn't have heat, they were working as freezing cold. Yeah, it was kind of interesting, I guess. But I, I do like all of that special effects stuff. They did a pretty good job on it. Kind of cool, garish, bright colors, 